Chapter 5 Season 4 is about 10 days away, and because of the leaked roadmap, we know it'll be a Marvel season. So in today's video, I'm going to predict what Marvel characters will be in this upcoming Season 4 Battle Pass. This will actually be my second prediction because my first prediction was already busted because I thought Cyclops would be in the Battle Pass, but he is being released in an X-Men bundle instead. So I'm already 0 for 1 on predictions. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that has watched, liked, and or commented on the first video. You made it my most viewed video and I really appreciate you for that. But let's see if we can be my first one, so be sure to like and subscribe and use code TUNESPIDER in the item shop. Now let's get started. I'm actually going to create two battle passes this time. The first one is going to be the more realistic option, and the second one is going to be my theorized battle pass based off leaks and what I'd like to see. The first battle pass is going to be pretty focused on the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family. I think we could definitely see Reed Richards in the past, especially since he is Doctor Doom's main rival. I think we could see the classic blue suits and hopefully the future Foundation suits, but for Reed, I would love to see the version of the Maker. I think this would be a really cool skin in the game. For the second skin, I think we'll get Sue Storm. I think she will also be in the Battle Pass. She's also known as Invisible Woman. She could also have a really cool in-game mythic, but I think for her and all of the Fantastic Four, we would get the classic blue look and the future Foundation look. Up next is Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. I'm not going to spoil why, but he has definitely been mentioned a lot lately. If we get a Johnny Storm skin, we would need a built-in flame on emo that turns him into his human torch style if not that would be a complete miss on epic's part and to round out the fantastic four family is the thing i don't feel we need him in the battle pass but i would have felt weird putting the rest of the team and not him in the battle pass he would definitely be the big bulky skin that fortnite has to put at least one of them in the battle pass so it kind of makes sense i don't think they should give us a ben grim human version it should just be the thing in the two different styled suits now for the fifth skin in this battle pass is another skin that has been somewhat leaked and heavily talked about in the Fortnite community and that is Gwenpool. I think she has a really good chance of being in the battle pass next season. She is definitely a character that would fit well in Fortnite but I think she deserves two back blings and here's why. We could get her katanas that could also be pickaxes and we should get Jeffrey the land shark that should be her pet back bling. This next skin is based off another leak that we had gotten, which was one of the four constellations referring to sword. Now I'm pretty positive it was referring to the Marvel team sword, but there is a chance it was referring to Nisha since she just came back onto the island. But if it is referring to sword, I think the skin to represent the group would be spider woman. Now my first thought was Abigail Brand, a mutant who was also the leader of the group, but it has been a while since we got a spider character in a battle pass. So I think a lot of people would think it's really cool to get a spider woman skin, even though I'd prefer silk but she wasn't in sword so i'll save her for the item shop so far in this battle pass we don't have an x-men character but i think the one we would get would be a huge deal and i think that would be no other than nightcrawler I'm honestly pretty confident that Nightcrawler will be in the Battle Pass. He is one of the more popular X-Men characters that has not been put in the game yet. So I think they take advantage of that and put him in the Battle Pass. Now last but certainly not least is Doctor Doom. He was in the first pass but I think we'll be getting another version of him. I think we'll be getting a comic accurate Emperor Doom look and we could potentially get a Wanderer look for Doom. A lot of people are speculating that he is the Wanderer. Doesn't really make sense to me right now but I am rolling with it. We could also get a pen and ink style for him like we just got for Deadpool and Wolverine and with that that wraps up my first battle pass of the video I think it's the more realistic choice but I don't think it's bold enough I don't really like the idea of the whole Fantastic Four team being trapped behind a battle pass so here is my second pass I still think we will get Gwenpool like I had mentioned earlier she would just be perfect for the game and we have already gotten several leaks that hint at her coming to the game. The second skin I think could be in the past is a character I think is long overdue to be in the game. He would also fit Fortnite perfectly and that is the Winter Soldier. I still don't understand how we haven't gotten him in the game so far. He is the perfect fit plus he is insanely popular in the MCU and we will be seeing him return in the Thunderbolts movie. Next is Hope Van Dyne also known as the Wasp. This one could be a little bit of a stretch but one of the constellations referred to the word Hope. Now I know it most likely means the character 
hope that we already have in the game, but maybe it has a double meaning. It's referring to Hope, the main character, but also a Marvel character, and the first one that comes to mind is the Wasp. Plus, we already have Ant-Man in the game, so I think she needs to come in at some point. The fourth skin I think that could be in the Battle Pass again is Nightcrawler. I am very sold on him being in the Battle Pass. Like I said, he's one of the most popular X-Men characters. Plus, Mystique, who's his mom, was in the first Battle Pass, so I think it just makes sense to put him in the second Battle Pass. Plus, I think he could have a really cool mythic. Now, for the fifth skin, it's based off another leak, and I'm referring to the Sword leak that we had talked about earlier in the video. But there's a character that was part of Sword, but was undercover at the X Mansion, and that was Lockheed, who is the pet dragon to Kitty Pride. I mentioned this in my first video, but I think we could get a Kitty skin with Lockheed as the pet back bling. That one is definitely a bit of a stretch, but I would love to see this happen. The more realistic is probably Abigail Brand or Spider Woman, like I mentioned earlier. This next skin also has to do with another constellation that was leaked called Ghost. Now, it could be referring to the faction Ghost in Fortnite, but it also could be referring to the Marvel character Ghost. Ghost is another character that will be in the Thunderbolts movie. And if they go the comic route, it can look a little creepy, which would go with the Fort Nightmares vibe a little bit. I think a Marvel character that has been a little bit forgotten about, but that should be in the game is Vision. So he's another skin I think could be in the Battle Pass. I feel like he's another core character from the MCU that we haven't gotten yet in game. His comic style and White Vision would be really cool skins, and I feel like he just makes sense to have in Fortnite. And to round out the Battle Pass, last but not least, is of course Doctor Doom. We already talked about him, so I'm not going to waste your time. Now you may have noticed I didn't mention the Fantastic Four at all, even though they were the main attraction of the first Battle Pass that I created in this video. That's because I think they should be a bundle, similar to the Ninja Turtles in Chapter 5 Season 1. I think they should be sold in the item shop, so you have the ability to purchase them as a bundle, or as separate individual skins. So this way, they always have a chance to return, and they're not locked behind a Battle Pass. Now in my first Marvel Skins prediction video, I mentioned some Marvel characters I'd love to see in the shop during Chapter 5 Season 4. So if you want to see all of those, be sure to go watch the video after this. The link is going to be in the description. But here are some additional characters I'd love to see in Fortnite that I didn't mention in the first one. I think Agent Venom would be a perfect fit for Fortnite. These next two characters I did mention in the Battle Pass of my very first video, but they could also be item shop skins, Electra, and Magic. I think some more spider characters would be awesome with Black Cat, Silver Sable, and Mysterio. With Black Cat, I don't think we would get lucky getting the comic look, so I'm sure we would get the Spider-Man 2018 look. And Silver Sable is a character that I think would be perfect for Fortnite. I also think we could see Beast in the item shop and Emma Frost. I mentioned the siblings to Scarlet Witch in the first video, but I want to mention them again, Quicksilver and Polaris, because these are two characters that I would love to see in this game. Quake would be another cool character to see in the item shop, because we really only have one Agents of shield character and that's Nick Fury himself. War Machine would be a great choice for the item shop, especially for people that didn't get Iron Man. But speaking of Iron Man, I think Infamous Iron Man would be a cool choice as well for the item shop. The Infamous Iron Man version is being talked about a lot lately because Robert Downey Jr. was just announced as Doctor Doom in the MCU. Another character that I think is underrated that should come in the item shop is Black Bolt from the Inhumans. And I'm just going to reiterate this because Spider-Man is my all-time favorite character. And there are other spider characters that I would love to see in this game. So I think they should do a spider bundle with Ben Riley's Scarlet Spider, Cindy Moon Silk, and I think we should get Spider Noir. Especially if they do like that black and white comic style like what they did for Jonesy in the Chapter 5 Season 1 Battle Pass. But there you have it. Those are my predictions for what I think will come in Season 4 for the Marvel skins. Hopefully these don't get busted like my first video before the season even starts. But we'll have to wait to find out. But thank you so much for watching the video. Like I mentioned earlier, be sure to like and subscribe. Use code Toon Spider in the item shop, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace!